Higdon Outdoors Television is brought to you by Yukonuba, the official dog food of Higdon Outdoors. Heavy Shot, the industry leader in performance shot shell ammunition. Tetra, hear the hunt. Momarsh, hunt hard, hide easy. Power Calls, unleash the power. Well, it's September, and uh, in September, in our little part of the world, that means apples. We got a couple of apple trees in the backyard. I think we'll pick some apples, make an apple pie, and then we've got our early season variety of migratory waterfowl. So we've got blue winged teal and green winged teal. It's teal seasons, and then there's a ton of sorrel rails here, so we'll kill some sorrel rails, and then we're planning on going on a dove hunt. And then if we're really lucky, we'll find a snipe. So if you can kill a teal, a rail, a dove, and a snipe all in one day, that's what I consider the small game slam. So I've tried for a long, long time, and I've only done it one, one time. Usually the snipe aren't here, but we'll see. Either way, we're going to do uh, some cooking and some shooting and just have ourselves a good old time. Look at those apples. How about them apples? How about them apples? <laughs> Goodness. This is Red Delicious, and the one we're gonna make the pie out of is a gala. They're pretty good for apple pie. You wanna bite? No, I'm good. Okay. We'll see how good you guys are with the bat here in a minute, then we'll play a little apple ball. I don't know if there's anything more American than shooting ducks and eating apple pie. We're gonna find out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, now we gotta play some apple ball. I'm in. I'm pitching to Kelly first. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come on, pitcher. I'll start it easy for you. Well, I don't know how this is going to go. Hey, batter, bay, batter, 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 swing, oh, batter! Is, oh. is he right? I got to one hand this. It's like, it's like, it's a short, yeah. Hey, swing, batter! Whoa! Oh. Oh. You know what position I played in baseball, don't you, Bruno Brook? Left out. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Oh, hey now. Come on, go see Uncle Come on, get him. There you go. Oh, he missed you so much. Bo? Is that you? Maybe 12. Branch of the force. There she is. It has been a lot of days since I was able to run my waders again. It sure does feel good. These little teal are a lot easier to carry in. I think we throw out this whole two dozen in motion and call it a day. A little spot for the dog. That way we can get him out of the way, keep him safe. Be a good spot for him. Hey, Max. Get him. Can you see how clear this water is? This decoy on clear water, the water comes almost black and dark, and there's no contrast, so the decoy doesn't stand out. But if, if you'll go in and muddy things up, it looks like the birds have been feeding in the area, so it looks more natural, but more importantly, the contrast of the decoy sticks out on that muddy water. You can see it a lot better. Your decoys will show up a lot better from long distance. There we go. All right, I'm gonna come right up here, touch it to this one. Probably need a little more height on it. No, that's about right. Let's get this lowered on that side. Looks like we're all set. It's a trick. If you're the guy that gets to put the pulsators out, just put them on the side of the hole that you're hunting on. That way you get to shoot all the ducks. Own variety, but they were pretty. Yeah. It's a little bit cooler than it's been, and you know, it's just the time of year where it's all about the wind, you know. We had a little north yesterday and there's lots of ducks flying around today. Saw some pintails already, wood ducks, teal. Um, three days ago it was 
pretty empty sky, so the miracle of the migration is right before us. A lot of teal have been hitting early. Look at this, boom, wood duck. Can't shoot those. He comes to the right. Can get him, Aaron? Yeah, get him, go. Get him. Good shooting there, guys. Max. Watch this other pair. Dogs out there. Sorry. We have dinner, fellas. Yeah. Good dog work there. Brooke. Right in the hole, right in the hole. Oh, it's a big bunch. Left side, left side. Go, go. Get him. Go, go. Get him. <laughs> now we really have dinner. I couldn't get on you guys were everything falling around. Block, 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 block. Look at Take this dog work, guys. This is impressive. You're going to get another one. <laughs> I don't, you know, they're giving Bo a run for his money. I know it. It is so good to be able to pull the trigger after waiting all summer, all spring. They're partners ready to do whatever it takes. Athletes that pound for pound can outrun, outwork, and outperform anybody you're watching on Sunday. No contract required. You don't waste that kind of potential. You train it. Fuel it. Unleash it. You feed nutrition that holds nothing back. The Yukonuba Premium Performance Lineup. Oh my. Go. Oh my. Wow. Oh my. Wow. That was a wad. Woo. Oh my Ooh god. Boys, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> I, I, I don't ever train wreck. You couldn't miss. No, you, I mean, too many of them. It, yeah. Oh, look at the dog work. No, this is impressive. That was a new bunch. Jeez. Yeah. Oh. I have no idea how many we have out there. <laughs> oh, I can tell you this, it's about 80% of the flock. <laughs> Here. Good boy. Drop. Fetch. Here. Good girl. All right, come on. Here. Look in here. Dead. <laughs> That was some carnage. Oh, you couldn't have dreamed that up any better for them to center up. Wood ducks, aren't they? No. Get ready. Coming back, coming back. Right over top. Be still. Oh. Sorry. Go right, right, right. right. There he is in the Go ahead. Go ahead. Facts. All three of those separated. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was hoping they'd get in there better for the camera guys. I, yeah. No, we did fine. Are y'all blowing new calls, ah. Kelly? What's going on? Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is our teal call. It's kind of interesting. We started to incorporate actually on all of our poly calls. These little rubber bands, it's really good for grip. Your hands are wet, whatever. I especially like it on our goose call. Good dog. It's a little dog. ion. But it just creates a little bit of friction there and that rubber, even if your hands are wet, cold, whatever, it allows you to keep your hand that holds the call on a little easier. So. Just a little easier to control. And these are little teal calls that we're running. Had that real nasally raspy sound. They're gonna pop over the trees. Get ready, get ready. Get him, get him.
After waking up at 4 a.m. in the freezing cold of opening day, when that first bird locks up in the decoys, you better be packing heavy bismuth. In the Wonderfowl world, density is the name of the game, and bismuth is 22% more dense than steel. That means cleaner kills and less work for you and your dog. Heavy bismuth has a softer shot that's safer for older fixed choke and classic double shotguns. So when those birds light in front of you, give them the bismuth. What is it? What's it, the trifecta? No. It's a quadrifecta, it's but a quadrifecta. Has, has doubts about the snipe. Yeah, so you shoot a... I mean... A teal, check. We can check that box. You shoot a rail, which he says should be fairly easy. But we're going to take four tens, I think, to make it sporty, which... Better off with a wiffle ball bat. Yeah, anyway. And then you try to shoot a dove, I'll tell you what you can and then the a snipe. But apparently the snipe is the, the hard one, because they don't see me. I just want to go shoot a rail. I haven't done that. Everything it, after this is a bonus. Yeah, because the rails to me is the, the part of the hip survey you have to do every year when you do your migratory bird permit that, that I just, obviously you, I didn't hunt. You know, that's just the one that didn't hunt, didn't hunt, didn't hunt, you know. You answer ducks, you answer geese, but you get to rails, didn't hunt them, so you go on. 31 years old, I've never once gone rail hunting. So next year, when I do my hip survey, when it says, did you hunt last year? I want to say yes. There's quadrifecta material. Oh, oh, here, man, hold on. Let's check this box. The rarest bird of the quadrifecta many times, about 10 of them just landed out there. The old snipe. So we might have to go on a little snipe hunt here in a minute. I'm really excited to be here. Uh, one dangler. Ke Kelly, I grabbed uh, 28 gauge shells, not 410 shells. Shoot 28. I'm shooting my 28 gauge. We're all shooting 20 gauges. I was a little nervous about missing with that 410. This isn't quite as sporting as I was hoping for. What you got, Brooke? <laughs> what are those? Heavy 12, three inch number fours. <laughs> and everybody knows if you want to hunt rail, you shoot, you know, the hardest hitting 20 gauge load in the world. Oh, right there. All right, I got a point on one. Like when we get up towards this end, we ought to get some fly up Right here. here. It's gonna come right up here. Get ready, hope. Oh. Got him, headshot. Nice shot. <laughs> I've got a rail. Hey, you got it, you got a mark? I got a mark. You got another one that's gonna flush. There's right one. Oh, oh no. That's why you wanna shoot a, tw a 410. All right, uh, you're next. You got one right here, I think. Oh, there one went. Oh. Oh, okay, I got a mark. I got a mark. There it is. Sora rail. I'm halfway there. It looks good. They are good. Looks like the little tenderloins that you get off a of dove. You know that little sliver? They're excellent. It looks tender too. I'm a rail hunter. You are a rail hunter. Next year on my hip survey, I'm gonna answer it with... With pride. With pride, yep. Oh, there goes one. Oh! I got a mark on him. I got him. My line is good. My depth perception's bad. We got her. Angle on. We got two of the four. I was really thinking those snipe might be right here in these mud flats, but I don't know. We'll see what we find. Oh, there's six of them now. What I just said, I said I thought they'd be right here. Brooke, get them, Brooke. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, yes. <laughs> I didn't shoot, but that was awesome. Man, we went from there aren't gonna be any birds here to knocking out two of the four like that. Kelly and, and Brooke both got one. So cool. Tonight. Good shooting, guys. Thank you. Long Bill, good eating. Now we're one dove away. <laughs> that was awesome. So, headless snipe. I told you at the truck. I said, Brooke, why are you shooting those shells? And I said, if you shoot them where the corn goes in. We're a little overgunned. In their case, where the worm goes in, but yes. Yeah. Oh! Oh, I missed behind him. I was a little behind oh, him. Oh, there he goes. That's him. Oh, God. They move quick. Wish I had my 410. <laughs> oh! Let me get out. There you go. Oh! There's two. Oh! <laughs> that was cool. Oh, oh, right here. Good head shot. All right, back right. Oh, oh God. <laughs> well, I had my chance. Ooh. They were going about Mach 90 with that wind. They're gone. Let's go get our dove. 
new from Higdon Outdoors, the Apex One Piece Full Size Canada Goose Decoy. Our Apex Stake System gives you lightning fast setup and realistic motion. Precise detail highlights every feather with XHD Hyper Feathering. Finish birds closer and maximize your hunt. Visit HigdonOutdoors.com or your local retailer. Higdon's One Piece Canada Goose Decoy. Apex. Ready? Ash! Ah! Ready? Yep. Oh, go down! Oh, I... Right here. Nice. I thought you nailed him. I did too. Look at the feathers. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Oh, it's over! Quadrifecta! It is over! Way to go, Kelly. There's the slam. Got him. It's a rare deal. I don't know how many people in the USA have killed uh, a rail, a teal, a dove, and a snipe on the same day. But I'm going to say it's probably a pretty short list. Y'all let us know if you're one of the few that have done it. We'll want to hear from you. Cash. Sorry about the segue there. <laughs> here, here. Another one for the dangler. Single coming to the right. There's three more, too. I bet he's not going to make it to me. This is absolutely my favorite wild game to eat. It's a dove. Get him, Ira. Oh. You know what we call that, Johnny? What do you call that? An ole. When you miss three times, my Argentinian guys will go, ole! <laughs> <laughs> That's not the first time I've laid on doves, by the way. Oh, good <laughs> shot, Kelly. Little breaker. Kelly, nice oh, shot. Goodness. He puffed that one. Oh, good shot. Our dangler's getting a little heavy here, Johnny. Yeah, buddy. All right, so we got our smorgasbord here our assortment of what we call the small game slam or the quadrifecta. This bird here is a sore rail. It's a male, you can tell by that mask on there. This one's a young one. The adults get a whole lot prettier. Um, but that's a young male sore rail. And then this is a Wilson snipe. So they're the fast flying little bird that makes that sucking sound like your boot coming up out of the mud. And they tend to be like in marshy environments. And then, of course, that's morning dove. Everybody's probably familiar with that. And then we had a nice little teal shoot this morning. Got some green wings and some blue wings. So just some early season variety. I mean, you only get to do it for 16 days in September. And, uh, you know, maybe tonight we'll go gig a couple frogs. And in the morning, we'll ch bark up a couple squirrels, maybe. <laughs> I'm out from Philadelphia. I'm not 100% sure what's supposed to go into Philly cheesesteak, but I don't know how you can go wrong with onions, peppers, and mushrooms, right? I'm just gonna say, unfortunate. Although I hate to use that word, is that so many people in our community don't embrace the whole thing, right? They're like, I'm a mallard purist. But I'm not of that camp. Like, I wanna embrace it all. So whether it's a snipe, or a rail, or a dove, or a teal, they all have their own place. And we can enjoy them all on the shooting side, and we can enjoy them all on the eating side. And I love it.